And whoop. Yeah. He loves my brushes. Like he loves when I like do his makeup. Loves to run around my counter and just pull everything out of my makeup bag or the Q-tip jar and he just chucks everything on the ground. People think cats are a bummer with throwing things. They have not had a bird. Bogey. He really likes to eat out of my cereal bowl with non-dairy milk. He loves my pillows on my bed. He like holds on to them and like flips upside down. He like rolls off of them. So one of my favorite things to do is just like build him a fort. <laughs> and then we just listen to music and he dances a lot. He loves reggae and hip hop. You crazy, you crazy, you crazy, you crazy, you crazy, you da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, bogey, yes, bogey, yes, bogey, good job. <laughs> Just so much goes into owning a cockatoo. It was a huge adjustment. Just like doing things together, learning about each other. I've learned so much. And everything I've learned, like we've done together. We grow together. I know it sounds so cheesy, but we really do. It's like a small child. He's a challenge and it's really fun to like have goals with him and it's a huge payoff when you look at it that way. It doesn't matter what kind of animal, dog, cat, rabbit, it's not that a pet is there to serve you, it should be a symbiotic relationship and whether that's like putting in the extra legwork to let your animal be more like how it should be in the wild, I think that's super important. He's getting used to it. <laughs> or cooking a cute meal for your pet to make it feel like it's more in its element in nature. He is such a picky eater. This is a success. Hi! Oh, so lovely. The biggest thing I've learned is you gotta stick by your little creature, whatever kind of feathered or hairy or fuzzy or scaly creature that is. Bye, say hi. Yeah, got it, Bubbles. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Roman, and I've got a really special story for you. 